So let's create the timeline year. Uh, timeline year and text align. That's gonna be the center. Uh, max width. Let's do nine point three seventy five RAM. Uh, margin. Let's do zero on the top and three RAM on the right. Uh, zero on the bottom and out on the left. Font size one point eight RAM. Uh, background. Let's do tomato. Uh, color let's do just white line height uh, let's do one and uh, padding I want to add uh, 0 0.5 RAM on the top on the bottom zero on the left and right one RAM and let's do a percent to the before uh, display none all right and let's add the uh, breakpoints okay to do that theme that uh, breakpoints that's uh, material UI attributes so up that's mean when the breakpoint uh, highs than uh, I think 960 pixels that's medium so when it's gone more than 960 then we're gonna implement these rules it's gonna be text align center margin let's do zero on the top and right and left out and percent I'm gonna do in each of type that's mean when the every second element uh, then we wanna uh, float none margin zero on the top and bottom and out on the left and right and let's do the before and teach of type every second before and display uh, let's do none all right let's save let's see what we just created and of course we can see because we need to add the class right here so class uh, name classes dot timeline year let's save it's reloading all right so we need to work on the paddings here is a mistake let's save now let's see all right so now we're gonna create another class and we're gonna add this class to the to this element to the year and also we're gonna implement to the the title and sub sub title and the description of your experience all right let's do it and we're gonna create above the timeline year so we're gonna call it time uh, line item don't forget the comma let's add the padding one ram and border uh, bottom let's do two pixels uh, solid and tam uh, position uh, relative and margin one ram on the top three ram on the right one ram on the bottom and on the left one ram as well and clear now let's do both and the comma now let's add ampersand and after content and double quotes but inside the double quotes we need to add the singles because it's not gonna work position absolute this we want to do the uh, before let me and uh, and before uh, position absolute the same and 
on the right minus 0 0.625 RAM and on the top let's do calculation uh, 50 percent and minus 5 pixels uh, border style solid uh, border uh, color let's do tomato tomato and transparent and transparent i hope spelling right uh, let's move on border width let's do 0 0.625 ram and uh, transform and rotate that's gonna be for the arrow uh, 45 uh, so now let's let's add the breakpoints in the brackets uh, theme cut uh, breakpoints that's up and when it's medium size width let's do 44 percent and margin one ram and let's add the n percent nth of uh, type every second element we'll do the next rules uh, float it's gonna be the right uh, margin let's do one ram and the uh, border color let's do t and let's do one more that's gonna be for the before so nth of and type every second and um, before it's gonna be the right and outer and left minus 0 0.625 ram and the border uh, color let's do transparent and transparent uh, tomato and tomato all right so uh, let's see guys what we just create but uh, before we switch to the browser we need to add one more class in our gear component this one so we're gonna wrap in a two big ticks and we're gonna add the dollar sign we're gonna wrap with the curly brackets or curly braces let's call in doesn't matter so inside we're gonna add one more class timeline item so let's save and let's see yeah timeline is not defined okay timeline item uh, classes okay let's see now uh, Reloading. All right, and uh, let's see the breakpoints. All right, good. So let's style our uh, heading. Let's do after year right here. Let's add the heading. And color uh, tom oops, tomato and padding. Let's do three ram on the top and bottom, and let's do zero on the right and left. And text uh, transform. Let's do uppercase. I think that's it for the heading. Let's save. Doesn't work. Don't forget to add the class heading. So copy the class and our heading right here. So let's add the code class uh, name. Uh, classes 
that heading. Let's save. All right, good. So let's uh, move forward, guys. We're gonna create the description of the experience. Where's gonna be the title, subtitle, and the description. All right, so let's move. After the typography, let's create the box. Uh, component, that's gonna be, oops, uh, in the quotes, uh, div. And let's add right away the class name or later okay just let's create the container so inside uh, we're gonna create the typography component and variant variant we're gonna use uh, h5 then align center okay and the text uh, web design let's add the Subtitle, let's copy typography right here. Subtitle gonna be gonna use the body one and the text uh, company name where worked. And one more typography that's for the description. So let's add that's gonna be the subtitle one and in here let's add the lorem lorem i don't know how many let's do 20. okay let's save let's see for now what's what we got all right so let's style okay, let's add the class name to this component it's going to be the classes time line we're gonna use the item and for the typography let me just copy this make a process a little bit faster the class name gonna be subheading let's save uh before we go to the browser let me copy the class name and we're gonna style right here after the heading Let's add so the color it's gonna be the white padding let's do zero and text uh, transform upper case okay let's save let's see now what we got uh, all right so here's our error we just you remember guys all right so let's continue styling uh, what we need to uh, need uh, style our subheading and the description and to do that was uh, our subheading so in a subheading uh, let's add the I'm just I'm just gonna add the style in here that's not too much the color uh, tomato uh, let me copy and I'm gonna add right here it's gonna be the 10 TAN okay let's see now all right Okay, guys, so let's copy from from here down to the now let me see the box we have box not uh, yeah, we have the box, so yeah, good, let me copy. Let me add in here. Let's change the year. The year gonna be 2014. And the text and HTML and uh, CSS. All right. Uh, just let's see. Good. So now let's just add the 
copy and paste the elements and that's it I guess okay let's copy this paste here next year gonna be 2015 and that's gonna be the JavaScript full stack and Java script full stack okay let's paste one more and now it's gonna be 2017 and our favorite experience react and redux and one more that's gonna be the last one and the year gonna be uh, 2018 and I'm gonna add the 2020 and right here is gonna be the learn stack and let's save okay let's see all right uh, okay let's let me just do like this okay so that's it uh, let's see in the mobile versions uh, let's add right here so galaxy so all right looking good iPad all good everything working some errors but we're gonna fix it later all right guys so we're done for this video finally yes and uh, on the next video we're gonna I think we're gonna finish with the portfolio and context all right so if you like this video please hit the like button that support my channel and if you're new to this channel so subscribe you're not gonna miss any new projects because in this channel we create awesome projects okay all right guys so see you in the next video bye